I almost killed all of our herbs. <laughs> that, there, that's it. That's the video. I almost killed all of our herbs. How's your day going? Uh, yeah, so quick story time before I show you what we have done to save them and show you a little bit of what happened. I was packing up to get ready to go on a trip with my family on Friday. We were going to leave early Friday morning. It's my grandmother's 80th birthday and we were taking her to a cabin in the mountains. And I come out to the greenhouse to just check everything one last little go around and I see that my herbs are wilted and dying because time had passed, they had grown and they were outgrowing what I had them in and needed to be in the ground. I made the decision to stay that morning. My mother helped me out uh, so we would get it done faster and we together potted up and split and rescued all of the herbs. So we lost a parsley or two and we lost one or two tulsis. But given how much I planted, there still was enough. I think uh, the only thing is the lettuce leaf basil because we, we lost all, all of that except for these three little plants and one tiny baby plant right here. And the way that we did that, um, I will explain in just a minute. The leaves, the stems, the, the like root, the stalk, it was just squishy and rotting and, and folded over and totally dead. I don't know exactly why, I don't know what happened, it'll be, but I know it was probably my fault. Um, because I didn't do what I needed to do when I needed to do it, which is a common theme with me. So how, how we had to rescue these. I didn't have time to video it, or I would have, but we were in a hurry and I just needed to get it done. And sometimes that's the way it is. We took, as far as the lettuce, lettuce leaf basil goes, because there was absolutely nothing left of the big plants, we took the leaves that there were and actually stuck the little bits of the leaves, like the ends of the leaves, into the ground. And this is what we have growing from that. Here's a bigger lettuce leaf, basil, uh, that had lost both of these little leaves right here, lost pretty much all of its green foliage around it, and we just stuck the stalk in the ground in another pot. We got all clean, all new pots. We didn't use any of the old ones and hopefully that will help keep it together and keep it growing. We actually do have some lemon balm that has come up and some rosemary, yay, which I, I didn't think they were gonna come up because they just, they took forever. They took so much longer than I expected them to or than they were actually supposed to, but they are up. With our cinnamon basil and with some of our Genovese basil, one of the ways that we propagated it to where we have a lot more than what I actually planted was taking, so taking, you know, the stalk, going to where there are a few nodes up. I think this is a good example here. So with this one, you know, a few nodes up, if it were a little bit taller, that would be preferable. See those little leaves like right there around the stem where those two big leaves branch off. What we did was we took, say, if it was a taller stalk, we would have gone maybe about two nodes down, maybe three depending on the height, and snipped it off because these will still grow beautifully and took those things that we had snipped off, filled up a container of dirt, stuck it in there. They are growing. It has been several days. It's probably been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's been almost five full days now since we have done this and they're still green, healthy, growing. I see actually some new leaves on some of them. So that is, that is uh, something to know. With basil, you can snip off where you have like a couple of nodes, stick it in some dirt, water it, and you will have another basil plant. That has been the saving grace of my herbs because I messed up big time. I messed up big time. It wasn't that I wasn't paying attention, but time flies and, and life gets busy. And sometimes priorities can be a little wonky, but we're, we're working on it, we're working on it. So I'm gonna get these guys out of the sun, but I want you, I wanted you to just see, I'm also, I have uh, been checking some of these for spider mites because we ordered some plants from a very <laughs> reputable plant place 
and the herbs when they got here we ordered some peppermint some different some different plants when they got here they had spider mites on them and we did not realize that until after they had sat in the greenhouse with our other plants and so now we've had to go through and look at every single plant we have spray it with neem and make sure that our other plants are safe and not going to be harmed by the intruders but let's take a look at some of these plants now yes i'm so sorry i'm not sorry some of them are a little yellow from the transplant but that will happen so the lemon balm has come up the rosemary has come up which is fantastic we have one little thing of comfrey back here and this is so lettuce leaf yarrow yarrow dill which is a little yellow but it's it, it'll be fine then we have, I don't remember what basil this is, and this was literally just the stalk that we had left. And we just stuck it in the ground anyway, because why not? We have some cinnamon, a lot of this is cinnamon basil, then some of our better looking lettuce leaf basil from the uh, disaster. There's some parsley right there. We have more parsley here. You can see we had to cut some of the parsley off we just brought it inside to use it parsley will not propagate in the way that basil does it, um yarrow some of those have broken off this one this yarrow is looking great this is where we have more of our cinnamon basil more yarrow and our genovese basil so let's go ahead and go over to look at the tulsi because that is one of the ones that i got into the raised bed with the thyme as well here is our chamomile that is growing absolutely beautifully we are going to have a lot of that we have oh we have a metal wire over it because the chickens started to dig it up and use this as their dust bath again we have some tulsi basil right there and some time over in the corner. That's getting a little bit more shade than it probably should because of the hostas, but what are you gonna do at this point? They are just looking slightly wiltier. I mean, this one's okay, but you can see how we had to clip a bunch of it off. The other ones look nice as well. So uh, this is a different kind of time than the one that I planted over there. This one has just been growing for the past year or so, but yeah, that that is pretty much it. I just I just wanted to, I don't know, just to talk about my stupidity and the mistakes that I make because that's the only way that I feel like I'm going to learn. I don't know, I just wanted to talk about it and uh, let you know that sometimes life just gets in the way of things and it can be really overwhelming and really, really busy, especially in the spring season because this is when things are kicking up in all aspects of life, in, in work, in things to do around the house, things to do outside, just all sorts of stuff happening all at once. And it can be really overwhelming and can, uh, there can be a lot of uh, civilian casualties in the basil realm <laughs> during this season. But I think that we're gonna be okay. We are gonna be a-okay, me and my herbs. And I will never do something like this again, at least with the herbs. In other aspects of life, probably I will. But as of right now, they are they are growing beautifully, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna do better. So thank you so much for watching. I know this has just been a little blurb, but I hope this was encouraging or slightly informative. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.